Sri Lanka's Disaster Management Centre reporting 151 people have been killed in severe flooding and landslides. India and several aid agencies helping with relief efforts, but Sri Lanka is seeking additional foreign assistance to help more than 100,000 people now living in shelters. Tom Sater is here with a look at the weather uh, forecast. Uh, just terrible video coming out of the region. What, what's ahead? You know, I mean, millions around the world celebrate the oncoming monsoon. I mean, it's their livelihoods. It's the economy. It brings life, but it, it takes lives too. In fact, uh, Michael, that death toll of 151 is going to unfortunately rise as authorities tell us another 111 are still missing three major rivers are on the rise evacuations of thousands along the banks but also we had as many as five landslides that buried scores uh, cutting off villages the need for aid a big cry for international help uh, India sent their second relief vessel there we've got help coming from Pakistan the UN as well but again the monsoon rains this is just in Sri Lanka right now they've had a good 24-hour period which has been good to get some helicopters up and start to do some air rescues as well as getting aid out they're in big need of fresh water right now 453 yeah we've had isolated amounts as much as 500 the beginning of the India monsoon has yet to be declared it's typically around June 1st and our current position is a little behind schedule but it's right over where we had the flooding in the western and southern sections of Sri Lanka we watch the monsoons again typically around June 1st make their way up for the entire month of June but it all begins in the southwest that's why we call the southwest monsoons and the flow moves into Kerala this is the state that really signals the start of it once they pick up several days of rainfall in 20, uh, 2006 to 2011 it started early but every year after it's been a little late last year significant each day is really important so we're going to watch that now the forecast from India's Met Department calling for 90 percent uh, 96 percent of normal which is fantastic last year was the first beneficial monsoon rain they've had year in three years and usually 89 centimeters kind of blankets the entire part but again if you only drop that down to 90 percent that's considered efficient. Unfortunately, more flood rains for Sri Lanka. We'll see if they call for the start of this in Kerala. Now, as we look at international aid and the call for this, we've had villages that had five and a half meters high water uh, rolling through the region. That's 18 feet. Preheat in India is increasing, but you think that's something. Just yesterday on Sunday in Pakistan, 54 degrees. That's 129 degrees. That staggers the imagination. We believe that is an all-time May heat record for Pakistan. And now we've got a tropical cyclone that's developing. So international call for aid will have to go toward Myanmar and uh, Bangladesh in the days ahead. Should stay as a minimal tropical storm, but that shoves a lot of water in this area. So a lot of concerns right now with the beginning of the monsoon seasons and the cyclone development we're seeing now in the Bay of Bengal. Yeah, exactly. Tom, keep an eye on it for us. Thanks so much, Tom Sater there.